Now this visit actually did bring me back. The first clue should have been when I was entering town. A lot of times places have banners up on the street lamps, but uh, you tend not to look at them. I should have been watching and should have realized what was going on today. But I didn't. So today, on this very sunny day, I am in Lawrence, Kansas. Not anyone who knows the CW knows Lawrence, Kansas is where Supernatural started. Supposedly. I know they like to change those things around. Free State Brewing Company. Lawrence, Kansas. It's worth talking a little bit about the history. This plaque right here kind of outlies it. Free State Brewing takes its name from the fact that this was a free state and that the Kansas Wars that occurred in the run-up to the Civil War were involved here. John Brown visited Lawrence a number of times as he was raiding and, and trying to drive off uh, pro-slavery settlers so that when Kansas voted, it would vote free. And Kansas ended up voting free and ended the Union as a free state. This all kind of led to the eventual Civil War, but it's worth to know all the history that kind of comes into this town. And Kansas quite doesn't... Kansas doesn't quite get known for this, which it should. Just look at the digital beers they have on tap. They have a lot of the mainstays to go along with some of the more experimental brews. So there's plenty to choose from, and there's plenty on the menu that you can eat. To start here, this is the pale ale. I started with the pale ale because, well, you know, I was feeling in the mood. And if you look at it, it doesn't look quite like a pale ale because it seems a little dark for a pale ale because the first term is pale. But that's more of to mean that pale malt was used and that the ale yeast was used. These are kind of things that, oh, you know, I don't quibble over, but some people actually do mind. I don't think it is an issue. I just think a pale ale is an interpretation of a style and they can be kind of done either way. And I'm fine with this and I liked it. This is Kansas State Territory, and they're playing today. <laughs> Since this is a college town, you have to deal with college. This here is the Luminosity IPA. Basically, it's kind of like a wheat IPA. It's got all the haze, it's got a lot more texture and kind of body than most IPAs. It might not look like a beer, but yet it is. This is their hibiscus rose. One of the reasons I grabbed this is because it has two BUs. A lot of people think, seem to think that there's a minimum that needs to be involved in it, that hops are so necessary. They're actually not. They had nothing for the fermentation. They were originally put in as a counter to the sweetness, which was naturally occurring in the beer. So, putting two in. Because it's a it's a Saturday and it's football day. And you gotta remember this is a Kansas Jayhawks town and Kansas University is playing football right now. They're playing Ohio and they're losing, but uh, still that doesn't matter. 
It's what you get when you're in a college town. They're packed. They love their team. Even though that, uh, I can only imagine what it's like when uh, the, the basketball team plays, which is, you know, significantly better than their football team. But, it's a good brewery. I don't play a lot. That would be quite amazing. This, this, this Lawrence, I didn't really see it as being a college town. Because uh, I thought they were like a little bit of ways go. The, the, the university itself. But, hey, the brewery itself is good, fun, gotta love it. It's in a great little kind of location, right on the main uh, kind of thoroughfare here. <laughs> you know, I'm a little lost for words because, you know, it brings back a lot of memories from college days, but it's fun of the trip. More things to see. See where I am tomorrow.